For over a century, the Elwha River was silenced. Two dams, Elwha and Glines Canyon, cut off its flow, erased its salmon runs, and buried its sediment behind concrete. The river's voice was quieted, but not lost. Before the dams, the Elwha was one of the most productive salmon rivers on the Olympic Peninsula. Chinook here grew to 100 pounds. The lower Elwha Klallam tribe depended on these waters for food, ceremony, and identity. But with no fish passage, the salmon vanished. So did the tribe's access to their ancestral lifeline. In 2011, the largest dam removal in United States history began. Explosives cracked the walls, 30 million cubic yards of trapped sediment surged downstream, rebuilding estuaries and reshaping the coast. The Elwha remembered how to move, to flood, to breathe. The salmon came back. Chinook, coho, steelhead, even chum. Some returned on their own, others were carried upstream by hand. Eagles followed, so did bears and otters. And for the Klallam people, the river's revival became a spiritual one too, a reconnection with what was never truly lost. But the work isn't done. Salmon numbers are still low. Some river stretches lack the complexity young fish need to thrive. Beavers haven't returned in force. And, you know, climate change brings new uncertainty. Restoration isn't a finish line, it's a long, winding current. For the lower Elwha Klallam tribe, this was never just about fish, it was about justice. The dams flooded sacred sites, blocked food sources, and, you know, severed a spiritual connection to the river. For decades, the tribe led the fight to remove the dams, long before it was politically popular or even scientifically proven. Their persistence helped pass the Elwha River Restoration Act in 1992, setting the stage for the largest dam removal in United States history. Today, the tribe continues to lead restoration efforts, replanting native species, monitoring fish, and, honestly, teaching the next generation what it means to live in relationship with a river. The Elwha River restoration continues to offer rare insight into the complex living systems behind dam removal and river recovery. Despite ongoing challenges, the project stands as a powerful example of what large-scale ecosystem restoration can achieve. It also reminds us that success depends not just on science but on collaboration, persistence, and, well, the willingness to adapt as the river rewrites its own future. Join us in our mission to protect clean rivers. Subscribe to Corson's Best for more stories of ecological resilience and wild places reborn.